welcome, adventurers, to a journey like no other. Today, we're unveiling the secrets of Brazil's hidden gem, Fernando de Narona. Imagine an isolated paradise, with pristine beaches and untamed beauty, meticulously preserved for the world to see. But what mysteries lie beneath its turquoise waters? And how does this remote archipelago captivate every soul that steps on its shores? Stay tuned, as we're about to dive deep into the wonders of Norona. Ever wondered how a place so secluded could be brimming with life and adventure? From diving with turtles to witnessing breathtaking sunsets, Norona is a treasure trove of experiences. But which hidden spots hold the best views? And where can you find the heart of the island's vibrant wildlife? Watch till the end for an exclusive peek into Norona's conservation efforts and discover how you can be a part of preserving this paradise. As we navigate through this tropical haven, questions unfold. How does an island with limited access maintain its allure? And how does its community thrive amidst isolation? We're on a quest to uncover the stories, the culture, and the magic that make Fernando de Narona a destination like no other. So, are you ready to unravel the secrets of this Brazilian paradise? To discover the beauty, the adventure, and the soul of Fernando de Narona. Join us on this captivating journey and let the island's allure enchant you. Did you know that 70% of Fernando de Narona is protected as a national marine pack? That's right. This ensures that the island's natural beauty and unique ecosystem are preserved for generations to come. The island is home to a diverse range of marine life, making it a hot spot for biodiversity. The Brazilian government has put a cap on the number of visitors allowed on the island at any given time. Only 500 lucky individuals can experience Snorone his magic at once, ensuring that you have plenty of space to soak in the beauty without the crowds. It's like having a slice of paradise all to yourself. While Fernando de Narona offers an unparalleled tropical experience, it's important to note that it is one of the most expensive destinations in Brazil. From the 10-day admission pass to the park to the daily environmental conservation fee, visiting this UNESCO World Heritage Site requires a bit of a splurge. But trust me, it's worth every penny. Norona is not just about stunning landscapes and crystal clear waters. It's also at the forefront of marine conservation in Brazil. The island is home to Pro Hato Tema, a renowned Brazilian environmental organization focused on turtle conservation. During the hatching season, Visitors have the unique opportunity to watch baby turtles make their way to the sea, a truly magical experience. As a lover of wildlife and conservation, my first stop was Pro Hato Tamer. This place is dedicated to the protection of sea turtles, and let me tell you, it's doing an incredible job. I learned about the threats these creatures face and the efforts in place to protect them. And the best part, I got to witness baby turtles hatching and making their way to the ocean. It was a hot warming experience that I'll never forget. Next up, I hit the beaches and oh boy, was I spoiled for choice. Praia do Sancho was a dream with its white sands and turquoise waters, 
while Baya Dos Porcos offered stunning views of craggy peaks. And let's not forget Boldro, where I caught the most mesmerizing sunset. Each beach had its own unique charm, and I couldn't get enough. Now, it was time to dive into Noronha's history. I took a walking trail through Vila dos Remedios, passing by historical sites like the Palacio of São Miguel and the church and fort of Nossa Senhora dos Remedios. It was like stepping back in time, and I gained a deeper appreciation for the island's rich heritage. As a diving enthusiast, I couldn't resist exploring Noronha's underwater world. The warm waters and excellent visibility make it one of the best diving spots in South America. I dove in an underwater cave at Buraco do Inferno and marveled at the rocky wall of sponges at Cavana da Zapata. It was an underwater paradise. Finally, I headed to Atalaya Beach, where the tide pools left behind by the receding tide create natural aquariums. I got up close with marine life like fish and starfish, all while ensuring not to disturb their habitat. It was a unique and educational experience that highlighted the importance of marine conservation. As we wrap up our journey through Fernando de Narona, I'm left in awe of the island's natural beauty, rich history, and unwavering commitment to conservation. From the stunning beaches and historical sites to the incredible diving spots and unique wildlife encounters, Norona has something for everyone. And let's not forget the island's efforts to protect its unique ecosystem, ensuring that this paradise remains pristine for generations to come. So, if you're seeking a tropical getaway with a touch of adventure and a whole lot of heart, Fernando de Narona is the place to be. Thank you for joining me on this incredible journey, and until next time, keep exploring and cherishing the wonders of our beautiful planet.